Hello, and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here for your full moon mini reading. This is a very mini reading just to give you an idea where to set your intentions. We have a full moon that's coming up in Aries. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that, then please make sure you let the uh, video play a little bit past your reading. And I will give you a rundown of what to expect with this full moon and Aries energy. My goodness. All right, you guys, as I start, and I always tell you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give to the channel. Thank you for all of the comments. I read every last one of them. Now, for this mini reading that we're about to have, you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Hello to our cross watchers. Keep in mind that we are slating this for full moon, but you may hear something that happened three months ago, maybe something that's happening today, maybe something that may go on in the near future. And also keep in mind that these energies will flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. It could actually relate to an energy that is surrounding you as well. So always keep that in mind. Okay, you guys, follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Please subscribe to the channel and right next to the subscribe button is a little bell. Hit that bell and every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Okay, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It helps push these readings out a little further. And I think that is all I need to tell you guys. Oh, we're on Patreon. On the Patreon, you get to see all of the extendants and our weekly love energy for $5.55 per month. You guys, you can't beat that. Okay? All right. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Leos. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your full moon mini reading. And if you do not know how to set your intentions, information pertaining to setting your intentions can be found below. Okay, that link is below. All right, so let's just see what's going on for this full moon in Aries. Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo. As they begin to set their intentions on a full moon. Carrying on October 1st, 2020. The messages need to go forth for the sound of the year. Okay. okay, the spirit, divine prayer of the universe, the messages need to go forth for the sound of Leo. As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon, occurring on October 1st, 2020. Messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo. As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on October 1st, 2020. Messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo. What does Leo need to know? Does Leo need to know? I'm about to say, is it coming? Okay. okay, Holy Spirit, and I create the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on? Okay, there it is. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on October 1st, 2020. The messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo. All right. Okay, my loves, let me put these back over here so we can try to keep some order. All right, first card out, Leo. Forgiving and learning, okay? As you release and heal the past, um, you experience more love in your present moment, okay? So you are releasing and healing the past. You're forgiving. Um, for forgiving situations and learning from what has happened in the past. Set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. You can't settle right now. But first, I feel like this past, I feel like this past is very important, okay? 
You gotta forgive and learn. You have to learn from your mistakes. The mistakes. See how his head is on this person's lap? It's like you gotta really digest so you can move on and forgive whoever or maybe ask forgiveness and learn from what is happening. And then set your sights higher. Don't settle, right? After you have released, don't settle. Okay? Then we have your children are watched over by angels. I love that, especially for those who have children and you're experiencing a situation right now you're unsure of, um, some situation where they may not be um, making the best decisions for themselves. And again, one person could have you know, gotten this message through. But your children are being watched over by angels. Could be your children that are to come or children who have passed on as well. The romance angels are helping you. So you got a lot of covering right now from spirit. And that's good. That's good. It's like as you're tr and I feel like, again, I feel like this card is weighing so heavily because you got to forgive and you have to learn. You have to ask forgiveness or you may need to um, forgive someone for something that they have done. Yeah, see, this is a spiritual card as well. Flower power. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power because spirit can be found in nature so anytime flower power comes up or music from manifesting or anything dealing with nature nature or outdoors this is spirit so you this is a very spiritual reading for you a very spiritual reading practice 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 with daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. So, you, again, when you set your sights higher, don't settle, but it might be something that you need to practice on. It may be something you need to practice in making sure that, you know, you are setting your sights higher. You are reaching for areas and targets that you've never done before. In order to do that, you have to practice. For example, if you're trying to lose weight. Well, you're going to have to practice making sure that you are hitting your goals and doing what you need to do on a daily basis. This is what we're talking about, putting things into practice on a daily basis to, in order to hit that target of setting your standards higher. And so, therefore, you're going to have to reconsider some things that you've done. You're going to have to reconsider, you know, places that you've been and things that you've done in the past. Going back to this past here, okay? All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye. All right, you guys, I'm here to give you a little information about this full moon in Aries. Oh, my goodness. Proceed with caution. <laughs> That's all I can tell you is proceed with caution because this full moon in Aries of uh, 2020 or the harvest moon, it also is called the harvest moon because this is the time of year where, of course, you know, um, a lot of farmers harvest their crops. But it, it's going to pack a major um, intensity with this, okay? Um, this impactful lunar event will occur when the relationship-oriented sun in Libra is in the exact opposition to the self-serving Aries moon, moon. And this is going to happen on Thursday, October 1st at 5.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, remember that Aries is a cardinal fire sign and it represents individual identity and um, the first spark of life because, you know, Aries is the first sign, of course. Um, in its purest form, its energy, it charges ahead first and then it, it asks the questions later. And that's sometimes where Aries can be, uh, can have a challenge because it kind of goes forth and blows up and then comes back and tries to, ref you know, retreat to try to understand everything. But with the full moon, it's advised to avoid sudden action and reaction and to instead Take the time to process your emotions. This is so important that you take the time. Don't move too fast. Try to process everything before you make a decision or something or try to think things through. That's the most important thing. So by combine, combining action and this emotional processing that we're going to need for this full moon in Aries, this is going to be revealing of what's boiling beneath the surface. So, you know, it's going to be pitting our needs against our needs of others. It's going to be kind of like a clash there. And it's going to form a powerful connection with the wounded warrior. 
okay? So you know the um, the tarot card, the wounded warrior who's experienced problems and very guarded. So this is what we're dealing with right now. Now, Sharon in Aries, uh, which is responsible for bringing dormant issues to light. And that's another situation that we're dealing with right now. Uh, we may feel triggered by external events. Um, it's going to force us to face challenges and uh, reveal changes that we must make in our lives. And this is something that many of us may not want to deal with, but we're going to be forced to. Uh, we're going to have to honor our emotions and strategize on how we can peacefully shift or change our reality. And that's the best course of action uh, that we can take right now, which is going to help us avoid any type of confrontation or relationship eruptions, okay? And so we're going to be very, very careful um, during this time. Um, we also may see a sense of um, irrit irrit uh, being irritable because also realize that Mars is in retrograde in Aries. Oh my God, which is squaring with Saturn and Capricorn. So that occurred on uh, September 29th. So this profound cosmic alignment has occurred twice this year and has uh, exasperated feelings of, of restriction and disagreements with authority and the desire to break free from old structures that no longer serve us. So we're going to see this not only on the, in our individual lives, but we're going to see this in on a uh, probably a, a community and a a, uh, a national and maybe even international round round with what's going on here. So, um, so you can kind of pinpoint and understand which areas of your life that uh, this is going to occur in for you. It's going to be based on where your Aries and your Libra show up in your natal chart. So you can look at that and you can run your own birth chart. We have the link below. Okay. So after you pinpoint where Aries and Libra shows up in your um, birth chart, um, you need to kind of put your focus there. You know, focus on self-care, which is essential to not only surviving, but thriving during this time. And so that's where you're going to um, kind of get your, your, your understanding on how to proceed through this. Okay, you guys? All right. Good luck. It's about to be very, very serious. And did I mention uh, Mercury is going into retrograde real soon as well? I know, like anything else could have happened right now. <laughs> okay, until next time. Bye-bye.